Now we're gonna take all this information and put it into practice. We're gonna do a live demonstration of the Meridian Flip using Sequence Generator Pro and our Gemini settings. And hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, everything, if we've configured it correctly, is gonna work. I'm gonna show you how I set up test benches here to demonstrate how these things are gonna work and actually visualize uh, what's going on. Uh, the first thing I do is I have a Gemini system. I've taken the motors off of the mount the Gemini is powered up, I have a hand controller, the motors are plugged in, but of course they're not actually running the mount. Uh, but for all practical purposes, this is a working Gemini system. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I like to bring up my um, Stellarium. This is the latest version, uh, 0.21.2, but starting I think in 0.21, maybe even earlier, they now have an ASCOM driver that allows you to connect to your mount. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, and go into my plugins, down to telescope. Um, you need to load this at startup. Um, and again, I'm not gonna go through configuration of Stellarium. If folks are interested, I can do that separately. But I've already set up my telescope uh, and I'm going to close this. And I wanna see if you can see this. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to this and you will see in a minute when I cold start, uh, that uh, the telescope is going to show my Gemini's pointing basically at counterweight down position, right? It's pointing right at the uh, North Celestial Pole. Uh, technically, there's Polaris right beneath it, so that all looks good. I've set up my um, screen so that uh, we see the meridian here. And uh, if you are curious, you can also see the uh, Celestial Equator on the other side in the south. Uh, which is really handy just if you want to understand kind of where that is. Those are all view options in Stellarium. But we're mostly going to be focused on uh, what's happening here. So the second application I'm going to bring up is Sequence Generator Pro. And here I'm going to configure uh, my Meridian Flip settings. And I want to, again, show you just as kind of a recap from the last time, um, these are my safety limits. Uh, sorry, my uh, Meridian Flip limits, of course, including my safety limits from the Gemini. The western position is 100 degrees. Uh, my western go-to limit is nine degrees. So that gives me a allowable meridian flip range of four minutes to 40 minutes past uh, the meridian. And again, if you don't know about all this, just check the video that we did immediately prior to this. We went through all these settings and details. So this is just a continuation of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And now we have a Sequence Generator Pro and I'm going to view uh, the control panel and go into my telescope tab. And here I'm going to enable use auto meridian flip. And I'm going to uh, set the options here. And in this case, I need an option that's gonna be somewhere between four and 40 minutes past the meridian to flip. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose five. Um, it's a safe number. It's gonna get me you know, well past that four minutes. I certainly can do it a lot later if I wanted to image a lot more through the meridian, but just in purposes of, of this demonstration, uh, I'm gonna show that. And I'm skipping all of the uh, auto centering and plate solving because I don't have, I'm not actually imaging. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just say, okay here. And I don't need that anymore. And we are going to watch the telescope uh, position here and in particular, the time to peer flip. This is gonna be a very informative for us to know what's going on. This is a floating panel. Um, I think it's, a, or sorry, a docking module, they call it. And you can see it's here under uh, docking modules. Um, what I like about this is it really just keeps me informed as to what's uh, going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and also connect um, to my Gemini there. And I'm gonna to connect to a camera. Unfortunately, the simulator camera, which I'd prefer to use, uh, doesn't work in this situation in terms of taking a series of exposures. So I just have a target here uh, that's set up. I don't slew to it. Um, I don't try to do any plate solving. I just start taking images one after another. These are 120 second images, just for example. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out over here uh, using uh, Stellarium. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to slew someplace uh, in the eastern sky, I'm just gonna try control one, and that's going to slew the Gemini. You'll probably hear the motors here uh, doing their things. So this is a live uh, telescope. I mean, it's not an actual telescope, but it's a live demonstration. We're gonna see if we can get this 
Meridian Flip to behave in the way that we want. Now, as I can see here, uh, my time to peer flip is updated. It's two hours and 51 minutes uh, to that peer flip. Oh, it's now two, minute, two hours and 46 minutes. Now, again, this is not to the meridian. It's to that uh, peer flip time. So that's actually five minutes past the meridian. So what I'm going to do is now that I know the telescope is on um, peer side west pointing east, another visualization tool I want to use is actually a plug-in from Nina that is a 3D view of the telescope. And Nina is running on another monitor off of this. But I, when I go into... Uh, the uh, imaging, uh, there's a little plug-in. The plug-in is called uh, Scope 3D View. Who writes this? Uh, Santiago Vegega. I hope I said that name right, but it's a little plug-in. Uh, and this allows me to actually visualize uh, where the scope is pointing. Uh, and you kind of use the, uh, the mouse buttons to kind of see what's going on here. So hopefully you're going to see... Um, in some kind of uh, visualization, what is happening with this telescope. So of course I'm pointing here, it's, it's pure side west, the uh, camera is on the western side, it's pointing to the east, that's the eastern notion here. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I am going to slew the telescope a little bit closer to the meridian because I don't want to uh, spend the next two hours and 44 minutes waiting for this. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, and using uh, Stellarium, uh, move it a little bit closer, and I hope that uh, my 3D view is going to show this. Yep, so again, our telescope is moving. You can see that here. And now my time to peer flip is uh, 29 minutes, and this uh, 3D view looks pretty, pretty close to that, right? So we're almost uh, at the meridian. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer let me try to get something closer, like here. I don't want to go over. I just want to kind of get this to maybe about five minutes to my meridian flip, you know, maybe seven minutes to my meridian flip. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so I am now, according to this, eight minutes to my meridian flip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run this sequence. And in running the sequence, um, all I'm trying to do is just start imaging. Uh, again, I've just set it up to do a whole bunch of 120 second exposures. I'm gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna zoom in here and uh, the telescope's moving towards the meridian. So it's probably about three minutes to uh, the meridian and another five minutes uh, to the pure flip, uh, to the meridian flip. So let's go ahead and just run the sequence. All that's going to happen is, you know, you see down here in the lower left, it's integrating my targets. It's going to do 120 second uh, imaging uh, subs and uh, it's going to do one after another. So we're going to let this go for a bit and uh, we're going to come back when it's closer to the meridian flip and see if we've got everything working correctly. Okay, so we're just checking in uh, on progress here. Uh, I just clicked on our uh, Lost Mini G11, so this gives me a little information on the telescope. We are uh, 37 seconds away, sorry, uh, let's see, 20 seconds away from crossing the meridian here. Our, our, our RA and hour angle show that. And uh, according to this, our time to peer flip is, uh, it's pretty close to that. Um, it's maybe off by 10 or 20 seconds. So again, you want a little bit of that buffer zone in there. Uh, but we have uh, just now crossed the meridian uh, and our telescope, uh, looks that way, right? So, yep, it's about it's about there. So, uh, in uh, about four minutes, uh, we are going to see if our meridian flip is uh, going to work. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I think I miscalculated things slightly, but uh, I am watching my telescope, and I am watching uh, my integration time. So it's 15 seconds left until the integration is done, but my time to flip. Well, I guess I, maybe I did do that correctly. But the time to flip is uh, less than that. And, well, actually, it's kind of right at the same place. So let's see what happens. Uh, it may or may not start another uh, image sub. Nope, it's going to do the flip. And are we successful? Yes, it appears that it's doing that. You can hear that churning away. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Hopefully you can see what's going on. 
Uh, the 3D view thing is a little bit buggy, so you see it jumping around a little bit, but it is showing us uh, what we need to. And uh, it's moving around to point at the other side. Sorry, it's pointing at the same target, but now it's obviously doing a meridian flip, so it's pointing at it from the other side of the meridian. So we wanna kind of continue going on and imaging into the western sky. So it's finishing up. Again, our, our 3D view here is very nice in terms of showing us uh, actually what's happening. Our planetarium program is also showing us uh, that it's working correctly. And uh, everything seems to be looking really well. So it's just gonna finish up here. Now, normally at this point, when it finishes the Meridian flip, sequence generator is gonna do a plate solve and center on your target. It's gonna do a little bit more, but in here, because we're not actually imaging uh, it's just taking exposures. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, allow it to finish up. It says OK, so I'm going to click that. And it's going to go back, you see in the lower left here, to imaging. And uh, so we have successfully completed that uh, meridian flip. Here is our telescope. It is pointing at the target on the opposite side of the meridian. Our planetarium program also uh, indicates that. And then you'll notice here in the telescope, a uh, little, um, God, what do they call that again? A docking module, a telescope talk, docking module, uh, that the time to peer flip is NA. In other words, there is no uh, peer flip awaiting because we are on the opposite side of peer, so there is no upcoming uh, uh, peer flip. So everything worked, uh, did what we wanted it to do. We demonstrated our ability to set up the Gemini correctly and the sequence generator pro settings to kind of match each other in terms of the expectation. And here we are, we actually did a uh, Meridian flip. So I hope this video series uh, was helpful to you. Please, uh, if you like this and you wanna see more, subscribe to us, hit that notify bell down there and we'll let you know when other tutorials are coming up. Any questions or comments, please drop a, a comment on the, the description below the description. And uh, we'd love to respond to it. And if you have any video requests, we'd love to see those as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs>